Hi, welcome back. Now, whatever the airline's fare structure ends up being, it has evolved over time. So in response to market conditions, changes in demand, competitive pressures, the fare structure is an evolution and it will continue to change. At the same time, though, you do hear airlines say that they deal with several thousand pricing changes a day. And that is true, but it's because they have so many markets and so many fares. Any individual market structure really doesn't change that often, particularly the high-end fares and the rules. What does change is on the low end, airlines will often um, put the fares on sale. So they might put a, what is this, $150, they might put a $129 fare sale that's only valid for a limited time. And you will hear airlines talk about their structure fares and their sale fares. The structure fares don't change that often. The sale fares can change um, you know, from week to week. The rules that are associated with fares don't change very often at all. It could go, um, an airline could go a few months without addressing these, um, these rules. The real day-to-day -day activity involves inventory control. That is, the number of seats the airline is willing to sell in each one of these fare classes on every flight that they operate. And that can change several times a day. And that's when we get into the two components of uh, revenue management, which are forecasting and optimization. So we talked about the origins of revenue management. The challenge was that the airline needed to forecast leisure demand and business demand. Well, now the problem has just gotten much more difficult. The airline needs to forecast demand for each one of these fare products. So they need to know how many people would be willing to pay $500, 450 and so on. Once they have those forecasts, they can then run an optimization and determine how many seats they should sell at each fare level. And then the revenue, the revenue management analysts are there to make adjustments to the output from the uh, forecasting and optimization system. So I think you can start to see the challenge with accurately forecasting demand at prices that are actually pretty close together. We make an assumption that people who are willing to pay $500 are different from people who are willing to pay $450. In reality, that's not true. The people who are willing to pay $500 would prefer to pay $450, but we need a way of segmenting those customers out so that we can charge them two different prices. And if this was a low-cost carrier that had very little in the way of pricing restrictions, that becomes even more difficult because there's very little to differentiate these products except for the price. Now, we're going to spend a lot more time um, talking about forecasting and optimization. But one thing that airlines have to keep in mind when they construct their fare structure is can they manage it through their revenue management system and if the fare structure is so complicated that they can't accurately forecast it then they're going to give up a lot of revenue when they try to manage the inventory so it's just something that they need to keep in mind um, so that they're really constructing an optimal fare structure that results in the most revenue uh, as possible mm -hmm. There's also a component of the airline's brand that needs to be considered when setting these fares. So I said before that some airlines will have a higher fare in the market because some customers have a very high, uh, very high willingness to pay and they want to capture that. Other airlines won't put that fare in the market even though they know, know they can sell it because they want a brand that's associated with lower fares and they don't want to sell a high fare just because they can because that will have an impact on their brand. In the next video we're going to talk about inventory control. So that's once the airline determines how many seats they would like to sell on each fare, how the reservation systems actually manage that inventory and distribute those seats to the public. Thanks for watching.